Alternating hemiplegia childhood is a rare neurological disorder. And uh, we've explained it kind of in, in terms people can understand. Uh, it's like Matthew has the movement problems it's like somebody who has mild cerebral palsy, the learning disabilities like somebody who has autism, uh, behavioral problems like ADHD. Now about 50% of our sufferers have epilepsy, Matthew is one of them, and then the hallmark of this disorder are these bizarre bouts of temporary paralysis that alternate from one side of the body to the other or can involve the entire body, last anywhere from minutes to days at a time. Um, recently we've uh, partnered directly with uh, our sister organizations and Duke University to facilitate a, a symposium in uh, Be Brussels, Belgium. Uh, there we brought researchers from around the world that have uh, actually already done some research on the uh, particular gene uh, mutation that Duke University discovered. And uh, from there, there's a lot of collaborative efforts that will be moving forward. Uh, what's happening now is that my, my wife Renee and some other uh, parents and some business professionals in the U.S. have formed a, an organization, Cure AHC, uh, that is dedicated to working with uh, Duke University and this international collaboration uh, to, uh, we believe, move in a direction that's going to accelerate the pathway to an effective treatment and potentially a cure in the next 10 to 15 years.